my, bro my brothers and sisters in Christ. My brothers and sisters in Christ, together with our personal intentions, we offer this holy sacrifice of the Mass for these following common intentions. For the intentions of our Holy Father Francis, for the intentions of our Bishop Jose, for the intentions of our team of pastors, parishioners, BPC members, parish collaborators, benefactors, personal and staff, in honor of the Holy Trinity, Señor Santo Niño, Jesus of Nazareth, Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Our Lady of Lourdes, Virgen sa Simala, Virgen sa Regla, Virgen sa Guadalupe, San Pedro Calungsud, St. Joseph, San Antonio de Padua, San Roque, San Vitales, San Lorenzo Ruiz, Our Mother Perpetual Hub, St. Jude Reyes, San Miguel Arcangel, and all saints and angels. Petitions and intentions of the following. Mrs. Cherry Del Gra and family, Mr. and Mrs. Josue, Mary Alapitan and family, Engineer and Mrs. Iris, Jessica Hautadoy and family, Mr. and Mrs. June Araceli Llanos and family, Mrs. Joan Castillo and family, Miguel Disabella Yu and family, Maria Antonia Muneva, Joan Colina, Elder Brando Milares, Mr. Sigundino June Selma Jr., Michael C. and family, Mark Gohan family, Mrs. Dulce Gantuanco Coromina's and family, Honorable Board Member Tata Coromina's to review and family, Mr. Julius Coromina's and family, Mr. Peter Coromina's and family, Nicole Anera Quiros and family, Dr. Melinda Indaime Mendoza and family, Mr. Ricardo and Mrs. Florida Muanya and family, Engineer P.T. D.K. Muanya and family, Mrs. Seth, Mr. Cesar and Mrs. Joanne Lindio and family, Mrs. Letty Carroll and family, William Baquerto Sr. and Benjamin Jr., Mr. Vicente Hinitia Liza, and Mrs. Marina Talmo and family, Cherry Rintuza and family, Mrs. Shirley Yu and family, for good health, speedy recovery, and complete healing of Calixto and Alisa and family, Gilbert Barn and family, Christopher Son and Katrina Yu and family, Joran Yi King, Teresa Go, Rosalinda Go, Boy and Tita Ong, Brenda de la Calzada, Walter Despeña, Obineta and Nebrija family, Anatolia, Albert Ryan Chua, and for healing, recovery, safety, and protection of the whole world from COVID-19. Petitions for good health, guidance, enlightenment, peace, and financial stability, success in business, success in studies, successful job application, successful operation, Safety travel protection against COVID-19 and healing of the family tree offered by Joy Coromina's, Miguel Ayu, Flores family, Christina Tutoran family, Phil Musa, Lani, Eduardo and Estela Ibanez, Mirna Vanguardia, University of the Visayas, Linia, Lina Itcobanez, Bermejo family, Mancho, Mrs. Beth Gakrama, Mr. and Mrs. Felipe Rojas Jr. and family, Manuel Jr., Apolav Henson, Angagara and family, Ray Martinez, Stefano Bonita and family, Mimi and family, Evic, Anita Lau, Henry Lau, May Mundiohar and family, Raimundo Claro, Turibio Tina Jr. and family, Obineta family, Albert Ryan Chua, Phil Musa, Maria Sinaida Bosenia, Bati family, Roli Pamularquan family, Anatolia Obenita, Virgilia Villar and family, Elena Nolan and family, Pompey Gemma Jocelyn Pastor and family, Manuel Jr., Flor Monpon Banua, Catalina Dulioso, Ading and family, Henry Del Castillo, Erlinda Misa, Elizabeth Uriarte, Tata Heriana, Ewagas, Hagnaya, Sosi Maestose, Nida Lobres and family, Victoria Catamisan and family, Isuk Parpado, 
P. Esuliata Serna, Eileen Claudia Espina, Concepcion Paruan, Rosalyn Clare, Randolph Christian Paruan, Richard Montibon, Lourdes Pantino and family, Lita Lauron, Joan Batukan, Jocelyn Riam Bonanza, Leticia Ginita and family, Jennifer Discartin, Jew family, Norma Midalio, Lilia Midalio, and Jenny Buckley. For answered prayers and granted petitions of Emanuel's family, Gue family, Susan Salango, J. Myrin Laborado, J. Can Mirna Cabalan, Marcelina de Balucos, Virgilia Villar, Concepcion Paruan and family, Josephine Mayor, Norma Midalio, and Jenny Buckley. For the gift of life and for the birthday of Candida Pintoy, Rafaela Pintoy, Teresa Butaya, Loida Versales, J. Myrin Laborada, Carmelita Espina, Roderick Anserno, Josephine Mayor, for the wedding anniversary of Mr. Mr. and Mrs. John Clark Cabrera. And for Thanksgiving to St. Jude Deus, Novena Carbon, sponsored by Marcelina de Balocos and Aurelio Olivar. For the birthday of the late Romolo George Salango Jr., Crispin Dulioso. For the death anniversary of Jose Besinga, Gregoria Pastor Alexander Guinita. For the eternal repose of the following souls. For Raymond Yuri Alejandro Angela Quintin, Priscilla Marilyn, Sister Elsie, Gerarda Mantal Basalma, Segundino Selma Sr., Concepcion Fernandez, Aida La Rosa Sabit, Nicolas de la Calzada, Rufa Diaz, Agripina de la Calzada Johnson, Franco Johnson, Crispolo Sibalios, Oscar de la Calzada Sr., Gregorio Flores Sr., Victoriano Tutor, Adriano Joey Jr., Philbert Roberto Perlita, Nestor Plaza Sr., Fortunata Oliveros, Danny Gloria Francesco, Erenea Marcos Feliciana Albert Chofisto Sr., Milchora Eda Galileo, Father Ray Cabalquinto, Father Jose Mansueto, Father Nilo Nimeno, Father Paul Tunyakao, Benigna Pilahillo Ingracio, Lydia Ernesto Felipe Teresita, Rogelio Pasita Natalia, Vicente Josefina, Josie Jacqueline Kyle Gullias Weckman, Fernando Bibiana Sofronio Connellyn, Wilma Rivalde, Hilaria Antonio Rafael, Noni Luna Guadalupe, Norma Jaya Vicente, Nida Jen, Lau Ichen, Grace Lau, Wilson, Carmen Rosario, Visitacion, Christine, Ernest, Maribel, Mildred, Ernesto, Rogelio, Leonila, Imetrio, Andre, bon Rosendo, Adoracion, Vicente Sr., Vicente Jr., Asuncion, Arthur, Nena, Loretta, Amelia, Aracela, Eleuteria, Modesta, Petra, Pedro, Pablo, Paz, Yesebel, Renato, Marcos, Arthur, Paloma, Siriana, Bador, Dominador, Solidad, Guadalupe, Fe, Catalina, Badong, Daling, Salud, Lagrimas, Dudong, Carmen, Eduardo, Tony, Dr. Victoria, Lespina, Silvestre, Dignos, and Isabella, Dignos, Corsino, Marcelina, Huesan, Roberto, Rio Ben Mendoza, Trey Watt, Estorba. For Paterno Jr., Rigoberto, Oscar, Delphine, Adela, Veronica, Perfecto Sr., Ricardo, Danilo Sr., Clarita, Gloria, Corsino, Marcelina, Roberto, Rio Ben, Trey, Trey Watt. Jose Pilahia, Solpicio, El Defonso, Maria, Rosal, Joselito, Charlie, Jesusa, Arcadio, Francesca, Hinaro, Cecilia, Jose Sr., Josefina, Vivian, Darrell Sr., Patricia, Rizalina Sr., Junior, Lourdes, Josefina, Francesco Sr., Junior, Jesus, Casimera, Gregoria, Lordita, Virginia, Angel, Maria, Tarumulo, William, Remedios, Paz, Anselmo, Morris, Safarina, Ulysses, Leopoldo, Rizalde, Severino, Victor, Adoracion, Erlisa, Felicitacion, Simeon, Dennis, Simeon, Veronica, Alicia, Democrito, Juan, Minez, Dalian, Marina, Esteban, Rosita, Emmanuel, Hagnaya, Dosisima, Antipas, Segundina, Lucina, 
Ersenisa Virginia, Rito Gisdado, Protasyon Pacifico, Shala, Teopelo, Willie Fortunato, Anastasio Marcelina Erlinda, Maria Elizabeth, Annabel, Luciano, Victoriano, Iniga Martin Telesporo, Juanita, Edita, Epifania, Alejandro Alfredo, Imperatriz Juliet, Tan Chuati, King Mariano, Nestor Gregoria, Roberto, Domingo Isabel, May Linda, Roger, Renato, Joaquina Quirino Quirubin, Grace, Joy, Emilio, Hinaro, Tomasa, Miling, Gooding Jr., Milbert, Manuel Sr., Servada, Virginia, Juancho, Rene, Alexander, Joel, Jose Sr., Maria Gutelde, Leonardo, Felipe, Lorena, Wilson, Arcelli, Emiliano, Tino, Ursula, Juliana, Isedra, Ambrosio, Sergio, Bernardita, Rosina, Rosita, Paula, Samantha, Natividad, John Patrick, Mary Teresa, Rod, Romeo, Adelaido, Oliva, Isabel, Camilo, Vicente, Rosa, Estela, Maria, Marlo, all unborn babies, supported babies, and all departed relatives and friends, and for all people who died from COVID-19, and for all the poor souls in purgatory, especially the forgotten ones. Thank you and good evening. Nobena sa mga kalag, magluhod, sangalan samahan sa anak Espiritu Santo. Amen. Ang atong tubag, maukini, ginoo dungga ang among pangamuyo. Ginoo dungga ang among pangamuyo. Magampu kita sa Dios ang amahan sa kaluoy, alang sa atong mga iksuon, labi na nila nga gitawag ni Kristo, pinaagi sa kamatayon tungod sa imong kaayo, Pasay lua sila sa ilang mga sala. Tanaan, ginoo dungga ang among pangamuyo. Hinumdumi ang mga maayong buhat nila nga ilang nahimo diha sa pagtuo. Tanaan, ginoo dungga ang among pangamuyo. Dawata sila nga mahinang pun nganha sa kinabuhing dayon. Tanaan, ginoo dungga ang among pangamuyo. Mag-ampusab kita alang sa mga nagsubo tungod sa kamatayon sa atong igsuon. Hupaya kami ginoo sa among kaguol. Tanan, kinoo dunggang among pangamuyo. Puna sa imong gugma ang kahaw ang og kamingaw sa among mga kasing-kasing. Tanan, kinoo dunggang among pangamuyo. Dugangi ang among pagtuo, uglig una ang among paglaom kami mo. Tanan, Ginoo dungga ang among pangamuyo. Mag magampu usab kita din hining atong pagpanaw sa kinabuhi. Liguna kami ug himoa kami makanunayon sa among pag-alagad kanimo. Tanan, Ginoo dungga ang among pangamuyo. Puna ang among mga kasing-kasing sa paglaom nga madangat namo ang langit uban sa among mga igsuon. Tanan, Ginoo dungga ang among pangamuyo. Mag-ampo kita, O Ginoo, Diyos sa tanang kaluoy, pataling hugi ang among mga pag-ampo, o kaluyi ang imong anak, nga sila nga imong gitawag gikan ning kinabuhi a. Dawata sila sa katilingban sa imong mga santos, diha sa gingharian sa kahayag o kalinaw. Kini among gipangayo pinaagi ni Heso Kristo, nga among Ginoo. Amen. Sa nga lang sa mahan, sa anak, sa Espiritu Santo. Amen. Mayong gabi, kaninyong tanan.
name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We are now in the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Jesus reminds us that His way is not simply fulfilling the detailed precepts of religious laws. Rather, it is a way of life, a way of loving God and neighbor through concrete acts of service. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, they have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. to God in the highest Lord God. 
spring. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love that you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, You shall not molest or oppress an alien, for you were once aliens yourselves in the land of Egypt. You shall not wrong any widow or orphan. If ever you wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear, hear their cry. My wrath will flare up, and I will kill you with a sword. Then your own wives will be widows, and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortioner toward him by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset, for this cloak of his is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he to slip in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, be, Thanks to be to God. I love you, Lord. My strength, I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise me, the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be God, my Savior, you who gave great victories to your King and showed kindness to your anointed. I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake, and you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction with joy from the Holy Spirit so that you became a model for all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. 
For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead. Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening. In today's Gospel, the Pharisees decided to test Jesus again. They had heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees. They gathered around Jesus, and one of the scholars of the law asked Jesus, what is the greatest commandment in the law? Spontaneously, Jesus replied, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. Jesus affirmed that this commandment was the first and the greatest of all the commandments. Jesus then continued and said, The second commandment is similar. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The two commandments are interrelated. Why? Because without love of God, love of neighbor is meaningless and empty. In fact, the reason why we love our neighbors is because first and foremost, we love God. The love of God is made known and visible with our love of our neighbor. Our love to God will manifest in how we relate our fellow men. The proof of our love to God is the way and manner we love our neighbor. So meaning, to love God is to love our neighbor. Today, Jesus asks all of us to be wholehearted. He hopes that we love God 
with our hearts and our minds, God should be first and foremost in our lives. However, Jesus also tells us to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Both commandments are challenging. However, the instruction to love our neighbor as we love ourselves may be more challenging than the first commandment. The second commandment often stretches us in an uncomfortable ways. We do not always like our neighbor. Our neighbor may be an individual who has wounded us, insulted us, and even ignored us. And likely, the emotion we experience when we encounter this individual is likely far from love. A neighbor may be unlovable or maybe even be an enemy. But because we love God, we are committed to love him or her. If we truly love God, then we can accept our neighbor who betrayed us and spread malicious lies against us. If we sincerely love God, then we can still trust anyone who failed us and fell short of our expectations. If we truthfully love God, then we will be concerned to the urging needs of our fellow men. If we honestly love God, then we will be always ready to forgive our neighbors who wronged us. How can we say then we love God whom we cannot see if we cannot love our neighbor whom we can see? As the great apostle of love, St. John said, No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us and his love is brought to perfection in us. Jesus commands us, As I have loved you, so you also should love one another. One author says, The problem with our world now is that many people consider love as a noun. Love is not just a subject or discussion, subject of discussion or a study. Rather, love is an action word. It is a verb. It is meant to be done. Let love be an act. It is something we ourselves have to do. To love our neighbor is to show willingness to be of service ability to understand them, and readiness to forgive. We must love our neighbors the way they are loved by God. In the same way, we are also loved by God. Pope Francis has a new encyclical letter entitled Fratelli Tutti, which means brothers all. It has a subtitle on fraternity and social friendship. In chapter 2, in his encyclical, Pope Francis tells us the story of the Good Samaritan, and it is entitled, A Stranger on the Road. According to him, when we come upon an injured stranger on the road, we can assume one of two attitudes. Either we can pass by or we can stop to help. The type of person we are and the type of political, social, or religious group we belong to will be defined by whether we exclude or include the injured stranger. God is universal love, and as long as we are part of that love and share in it, we are called to universal fraternity which is openness to all. There is no others. There is no them. There is only us. We are called 
just like the Good Samaritan, to become neighbors to all, overcoming prejudices, personal interests, historic and cultural barriers. We all, in fact, are co-responsible in creating a society that is able to include, integrate, and lift up those who have fallen or are suffering. We can only do this if there is love. We can only do this through love. Love builds bridges, and we were made for love. During this time of global pandemic, if there is a word worthy to underline, and which brings to light thousands of people's selfless commitment to risk their lives and serve unconditionally with their time and resources, it is the word love. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, maybe it's good also that we have to invite and ask ourselves to answer these questions. What have we done so far to show how much we love God? What have we done to manifest that we love our neighbors so much? If there is an opportunity to show our love to God and to our neighbors, then grab that opportunity. Our hearts are designed to love God and to love our neighbor because we are created in His image and likeness. We are made to love Him and to His people. So let us be a let us be who we are. Let us love one another so that we can truly sing our responsorial psalm today. I love you, Lord, my strength. We stand. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on a third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus, let us pray to our kind and merciful God that his love for us may animate all we do and that our love may become contagious. Let us say, Lord, make us instruments of your love.
Lord, make us instruments of your love. That the church, the people of God, may never cease to proclaim by its teachings, life, and liturgy that love of God and neighbor is the heart of the gospel and that people are God's gift to us. Let us pray. Lord, Lord make, us make us instruments of your love. Of your love. That people may not lose their hearts in today's economic systems of profit, efficiency, production, and competition, but that they may keep giving first place to human relationships of friendship and respect. Let us pray. Lord, Our Lord make us instruments, instruments of your love. That we may have room in our hearts and homes for refugees and strangers, that we may learn to share our goods and ourselves with the little people loved by God, the poor, the lonely, and those who suffer. Let us pray. Lord, Lord make us instruments of your love. That those who don't know how to forgive, those who have not experienced much happiness in life or whose longings have not been fulfilled may encounter a bit of god's goodness in our attention and care let us pray lord, lord make us instruments, instruments of your love that in our christian communities we may uplift one another rather than tear down accept each other with trust and affection forgive one another from the heart and go forward together in hope and love let us pray lord, lord, lord make us instruments of your love our gentle god help us to love you and one another with your measure that is without measure is in christ jesus our lord amen, amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we made to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. 
let us give thanks to the Lord our God. He's right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in the company of the chorus of angels, we praise you, we joy, we proclaim. the font of holiness. Make holy therefore this gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, 
who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, Saint Vitalis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and un unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I'm not worth it if you should enter under my roof, but say a word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O 
May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel. Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against COVID-19 that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and abstemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those governments and private agencies that must find a cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calongsud. Pray for us. Saint Vitalis. Pray for us. Mga pasalamat. Sa ngalan sa atong talahurong arsobispo sa Subbo, Jose S. Palma, uban sa atong mga kaparian o sa parish pastoral, pastoral council officers, dinhi sa atong parokya sa katedral, Mapasalamaton kami kaninyong tanan sa inyong makanunayong suporta. Ilabi na ngadto sa tanan natong mga benefactors, sponsors, ug ngadto usab sa atong mga volunteers, ug sa atong mga liturgical ministers and servers. Salamat usab ngadto nila ni Mr. Calixto and Miguela Yu and family sa atong flower sponsors nga dili magpaila. Og ang niabag nga sila si Mr. Boy and Mrs. Tita Ong and family. Og sa atong flower decorators nga sila si Mike Pugoy, Mr. Novi Joy Indi, Mr. Mark Paul Cabido, Mr. Mark Pugoy, ug si Mr. Alvin Reyes. Salamat nga to kang konsihal Alvin Agnes and family alang sa imahen sa Berhen sa Santo Rosario. Salamat usab sa atong partner kanunay sa pagsibya Sa atong Santos nga misa, nga mao ang DYRF 12.15 AM o sa Sugbo News. Mga importanteng pahibalo. Nagpadayo ng atong misa nobena pahinungod ni San Judas Tadeo sa alas 4 sa hapon matag-adlaw. Ang piyesta pagasa ulugon sa alas 4 sa hapon nga misa karong Oktobre 28, 2020. Sa laing bahin, Ang Misa Nobena pahinungod sa Our Lady of Manawag, nagpadayo na usab sa alas 5 sa hapon matag-adlaw. Ang piyesta pag-asa ulugon sa alas 5 sa hapon nga Misa, karong Oktobre 30. Alang sa kasayuran sa tanan, aduna na'y mga sobre alang sa mga kalag na anaa sa inchance sa atong simbahan o sa atong parish office usab. Gidapit kamo sa pagsugod na uglista nganha sa sobre sa mga pangan sa inyong mga minahal. Minahal sa kinabuhi nga ni Panaw na. Aron mahulog kini sa mga baksas sa panahon sa novena masas alang sa mga kalag. Ang mga misa novena alang sa mga kalag magsugod karong Oktobre 24 hangtod Nobyembre 1 matag alasay sa gabi sa adlaw nga lunes hangtod sa biyernas. Alas 5 i media sa hapon sa matag Sabado o Domingo. Ang mga misa sa adlaw sa mga santo sa Nobyembre 1 sa maghihapon sa mga misa sa Domingo. Apan ang mga misa sa mga kalag sa Nobyembre 2 paga sa ulugon kada oras sugod alas 6 sa buntag hangtod sa alas 7 sa gabi. Ang sagad nga misa sa alas 12.15 iiswag sa alas 12 sa udto. Ang atong talahurong arsobispo sa Sugbo, Archbishop Jose S. Palma, mauy mangulo sa Santos nga Misa sa alas 9 sa buntag sa Nobyembre 2, ang adlaw sa mga kalag, dinhi sa atong katedral. 
Tungod kay siraduan man ang mga samang sa dakbayan sa subbo, lakip na niini ang atong samang sa kareta. Sugod so Oktobre 30 hangtod Nobyembre 3, binasi sa lagda nga gipagawas sa atong talahurong mayor sa syudad. Atong ibalhin ang pagdagkot sa dakong krus, dinha sa tubangan sa groto sa atong katedral. Gibuhat kini aron sa pagpadayon sa atong tradisyon sa pagampo, alang sa mga nitaliwan na natong mga igsuon. Sanglit gitugutan naman nga makagawas ang 15 anyos hangtod sa 65 anyos ug tungod ni ini makita nato nga maghinay-hinay na mudaghan ang mutambong sa Santos nga misa. Giauhag ang tanan nga magpabilin mosunod kanunay sa mga health and safety protocols nagibando sa atong pangagamhanan o sa atong simbahan. Bisan ania kita sa sulod sa simbahan, kinahanglan nga kita dili mo kumpiyansa, kinigituyo aron magpabilin kita o ang atong pamilya nga luwas sa sakit. Gikan sa mga kaparian din hi sa atong parokya sa katedral sa Sugbo, daghan kaayong salamat, padayon kita sa pag-amping o pag -ampo. Eternal rest granted to them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Lord God, from the abundance of your mercy, provide for your servants and ensure their safety so that it's strengthened by your blessings. They may at all times abound in thanksgiving and bless you with an ending exaltation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.